So this is just a quick update on my Tortoise Heavy Assault Tank build. I've uh, pretty much just started it. And, uh, and yeah, so I thought I would uh, start recording my progress. Um, obviously it's a huge tank. Um, but looking at it, it's quite a simple exterior. You know, obviously there's no turret. And sort of the external detail around the hull is fairly simple compared to some other tanks. But I've since found out that a lot of the intricacy and the detail is under the hull in uh, all the suspension. So I've got all the parts off the sprue. And that's mostly it there. I mean, it's not all of it. We've basically just got the, the wheels and suspension assembly all laid out. Now there's two, four wheels per bogey, I think. Um, I've assembled one half here. Um, obviously needs a bit of clean up. I just wanted to assemble this first just to see what I'm going to need to clean up and what I don't. So, for example, these uh, little bits on the end of the wheels here, they'll be on the track, so you're not going to see that. And it's very unlikely you'll see the top of it either. Because even though the uh, the track has return rollers, so the track sits above the wheel, um, there's going to be a massive side skirt, and a lot of this sort of mess, messy area won't be seen, so still kind of debating whether I need to clean that up or not. I mean, as you can see, it's going to be a lot of work, all of these parts. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. Okay, so this is where I am so far. I've got one bogey almost complete, so I've got four sets of wheels and the instructions did tell me not to glue these wheels together or well, to the frame but I found it just easier to glue them on and I'll show you why now this isn't the, this isn't the first time the instructions have pretty much asked me to defy gravity which is kind of amusing but also kind of annoying the first one was the instructions pretty much tell me to attach the, so assemble the drive sprocket and then attach it to the hull here but it clearly says do not glue now if I just attach that there and do not glue it well of course it's not going to stay on because there's no hole it's pretty much just straight flat to the, the plastic so I'm not quite sure what they're talking about really and I'm going to, I can't really glue it at this stage because I'm going to need this to be able to spin when I attach the tracks so I'm just gonna to have to leave that off for now and the second time they've asked me to defy gravity is attaching the two halves of the bogey here and at this while at the same time uh, where is it these middle um, what do you call them wishbones maybe they connect into the uh, the middle section there. So what it wants me to do is put these two halves together. Uh, where is it? Like that. And then the two different pins are coming from different angles, different sides. If they're coming from the same side, I could lie them both down, attach them to each end, and then stick this on top. But because they're on each side, what I have to do is Get the middle part here, attach that to there like that, and then how on earth am I going to put that on that side while holding this at the same time? So I've got to. Right, need two hands for that. Um, now, which way is this going to go? I need to do a bit of mental arithmetic here. It needs to go there, like that, and then somehow attach them without letting go, almost there, oh, huh, I did it, <laughs> tricky, but uh, I guess it's manageable, 
So once those are together, then very carefully gluing the top part together so the glue doesn't run down into the suspension area, gluing them solid before I've even got a chance of attaching the rest of the bogey parts. And I just realised that it's around the wrong way. So I'll just take that from there. While it's gluing, I guess it's slightly easier to sort of hold it together. Which I probably should do. Well, maybe not. And this is where the frustration sets in. But it's cool. I can cope. Come on, get in there. There we go. Right, so is that. Yes. So you're supposed to end up with something like that. And so I'll have to re glue that. Right, so once that's down there, then I have to attach these side plates on. Attach it to there while at the same time aligning these bars up with the pins underneath. Now this is my first kit from Ming. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And a couple of, apart from the uh, crazy instructions that just want me to stick parts together without gluing, um, the other issue I've come across is just the amount of oil and I guess it's release agent on the kit. Now I've got a bit complacent lately, with, especially with Tamiya, because I'm able to take them out of the the box and they're all pretty much fine, they're usually quite clean, there's no problems. But with this kit, I don't know if this is typical of me, but just about every single piece of plastic has this fine layer of oil on it, and it's making this build somewhat tricky because parts just flying out of my fingers, they're flying all over the floor um, every time I cut something off the sprue it goes flying about a mile so it's kind of weird um, I kind of wish I'd sort of felt it up a bit more before starting because I would have given it a good bath and some sort of mild soapy water or something just to get rid of all that oil um, so yeah I'll probably have to do that with the rest of the sprues before I continue but yeah so I mean, apart from those odd problems, um, everything's going okay so far. Um, yeah, getting there. This is definitely the trickiest and uh, most arduous task, I think, putting all these wheels together. And once that's done, um, it should be a lot easier moving forward. Uh, so here's the main hull here. It's an absolute monster. Got some really nice cast detail in there. And so yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to putting these wheels aside, finally done, and getting on with the gun and the uh, with the hull detail. Um, I might also mention the, uh, the kit comes with no decals, no markings whatsoever. The only thing they tell you to do in the painting guide is paint that little triangle red. Not quite sure what it is. Maybe some sort of prototype marking or uh, factory marking. But yeah, that's the only marking the tank has, apart from the base the base colour. And that is enough return rollers for four pens of threes, I think, or three pens of fours. So um, it has more than its fair share of rollers. Getting there, slowly but surely. Alrighty, so that's the suspension and wheels done. Despite my earlier grumblings, it um, wasn't as hard as, as tricky as I thought it was going to be. It just took a long time. 
there's a lot of detail going in here. We've got four, these four middle bogies, they're all identical. And then you've got two at the front with a, what look like shock absorbers. Details going down there, just in front of the, see a suspension system there. And the same two versions on the back there so I'll give these a bit more of a clean up um, but I won't worry about it too much because once they go into the wheel well and the side skirt goes on most of that detail will disappear so I'm just glad it's all done and yeah so got there in the end and so next up will be the tracks and then finally I can start putting the hull together so yeah, so um, be sure uh, that I'll be posting more updates as I go along. Um, I'll be working on this most of this week, so I hope to have another video or two by the end of the week. And yeah, well, so we'll see where we are. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope it's been informative and insightful. If you're thinking of getting this kit, um, yeah, so. Again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.